total package of this wig i think is amazing i think the part is good and the general wig cap construction 150 percent density is the perfect density for this unit as you can see it looks nice not too full not too thin just right however hi everyone welcome to the second part of my you part wig series Sunbar Hair is sponsoring this V-part curly unit and it is nowhere near my hair texture so I can't leave any of my hair out. Now, two-in-one U-part, V-part, razor-part wigs have been trending all over social media. I'm sure several of you have seen them making rounds on YouTube and the whole point of these units is that you can either clip them down and go or you can leave minimal leave out. I've always made my U-part wigs so that I can have minimal leave out even though I haven't made a wig in a long time. So that particular concept is not new to me and it shouldn't be new to anyone really. But the idea that you can clip your wig on and go, it's relatively foreign in these YouTube streets. So I am curious to see how this wig works and let's get started i need to wash the hair first and this is the box that it comes in i have wig caps that i won't be using and there are some more goodies like earrings and lashes and an edges brush sometimes i use these to clean my other brushes i'm using my guild and pepper shampoo to wash my hair and i'm washing in a downward motion to avoid tangles this hair comes squeaky clean i did not use much shampoo and it lathered like crazy i'm still taking my time though because i like washing hair and the thought that it's getting clean is just therapeutic to me i won't be using conditioner today because this is a softer texture and i don't want to weigh it down but I did use a curl refresher spray on it so it will have a small amount of product when I install the wig I'm also taking my sweet time rinsing the shampoo out because I want this hair to be light and airy upon installation while doing this I'm making sure my hair isn't trapped in the clips because I don't want to lose hair before I even get started. So the wig cap construction is very basic, standard wig cap. And I'll start in the back here. I have a comb, I have adjustable elastic straps, and you turn around. I have a comb on this side, and of course one mirroring it on the other side. A clip at the base of my part, and if you turn around on each side of the V part, I have two clips. And what I have going on here as well is some mesh fabric which the hair is ventilated on so it can have a more natural look it's just pretty much the same thing as a lace front that's just cut down the middle i'm gonna flip the wig over so that i can try it on and see where we go <laughs> with this installation is supposed to be easy you just kind of clip it on your part and go this is my middle part i have african hair threading and i'm just gonna clip it on it's kind of textured right now because i did this a few days ago so it's starting to revert at the roots so that's perfect it has a nice little anchor area for my clips and the clips won't slide too too much and I'm just gonna open them up and clip this on you just kind of like slide in there and clip down make sure it's nice and taut before you clip the second one on okay the center back clip I'm gonna clip it down just to make sure the wig is sitting down and it's flat and then I can bring the others to the other side uh, before I do that I'm going to bring the wig around my head and do the comb in the back. So here you can see it's clipped on pretty decent. And I'm gonna bring it around. Oh, this hurts. And make sure it's nice and taut. And clip. Okay, so here's the deal. You can see that I am struggling to get it to clip down. The tensile forces will not work with me at all. So it's like I clip it down on one side and then the other side kind of like pulls and I have to clip there too and just reclip and reclip and reclip until I get it to look moderately decent. And I don't like that. I don't like the idea that I'll have to clip it several times. It does feel like it might not sit comfortably for the rest of the day. In theory, it sounds like a good idea to just clip it on and go, but look at this. I just can't go out looking like this. But the texture looks really good. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just take this off. I just feel like over time this would eat my hair. This is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's not conducive to a healthy hair journey. So I will just go ahead and remove some of my African hair threading so I can braid my hair 
and do an invisible part. I still have to make this work so I'm gonna create a fake leave out using some excess hair from I don't know when and measuring it along the part from clip to clip and then I'm going to join the ends so that it's one cute little circle and it'll be easier for me to install once I create both of my leave out pieces, I'm gonna put them on the wig and one half of this circle is going to slide under the clips and it's going to face the part area. I'm gonna put uh, the other side down as well. I have two middle braids and I am going to attempt to do an invisible part. All right, so one thing I didn't realize is I could actually get both parts of the circle under the clip so that's good and the clips are no longer clips they're combs now i'm not gonna clip this down because clips hurt for me me they hurt on me i'm dealing with clips that are converted into combs and i have the wet sliding under and it's not gonna go anywhere because it's going in the opposite direction the hair is and i'm just going to slide this under and go back over back this way and that's it as soon as i find my crochet hook One side is down, I didn't use all the hair and pretty much any excess hair is gonna come right down with the wig and make it fuller anyway and have a nice little blending thing going on even though this is kind of short. And now it just looks like crochet braids which is exactly what I want it to look like much better than clipping it on for sure you can't see the clips because the clips are really close to the part area so you can end up seeing the clips maybe if they move them down a bit they wouldn't be so visible you can't see the mesh fabric either thank goodness because that was visible as well okay so I think what I'm gonna do is layer the hair a little bit because this hair is so short it's supposed to be 16 inches I got it from Amazon and these guys sent me some 12 inch hair talking about six if it's even yeah it was like 12 inches i'm not kidding and it was so thin at the ends it is you can see it like this isn't six <laughs> my natural hair is longer than this and my natural hair is not 16 inches long light layers so that i can kind of blend the short with the long get it to fall in love it's so comfortable the hair i haven't clipped it in and it's off center because a little bit far from the part area so i don't have that you know force trying to get it to come up and stay right in the middle permanently in a fixed position because it's gonna move the clips are gonna move and you know open up that part i would like to see somebody wear this wig with just the clips for like a full day realistically i just don't see how someone can wear it with the clips and the clips stay in place for like 12 hours straight i'm not seeing it um i don't think i've seen a video where somebody did a wear test over time i don't understand how people don't feel pain when they do these things with their hair also my natural hair is very fragile it breaks easily you guys if you've been on my channel for years you know that i've lost hair in the past because of bad practices and i'll keep saying it like i am a prime example of somebody who has changed their habits and their hair has significantly improved and i'm not going to regress not for a wig absolutely not i think this wig is amazing i like a very thin v part in the middle or i part or razor part or whatever kind of part you want to call it i like a very thin part in the middle it's perfect for invisible parts and it just 
looks so much better. You don't have to have too much leave out and too much blending if you have your natural hair out. So conceptually, the wig is excellent as just a standard U-part wig. The clip-on, I'm not really fond of. I could have used the hair from the wig to just do this, but I didn't want to because I wasn't sure if it would cause wear and tear on the mesh lace fabric and I didn't want to age the wig prematurely so that's why I used excess hair for the leave out area. Total package of this wig I think is amazing. I think the part is good and the general wig cap construction 150% density is the perfect density for this unit. As you can see it looks nice, not too full, not too thin, just right. However, I cannot see myself using the clips because it hurts and it doesn't look flattering on me and I have not seen many people look good with a clip-on wig. There are so many variants out there and I think I've only seen like two people look good and usually they only look good with the type 4 textures but these looser textures they look terrible when you just clip them on. That's all for this video so thank you so much Sunbur Hair for sponsoring this video. Thanks you guys for watching as always. I cannot wait for part three because it is going to be epic and the perfect conclusion to this wig series. I will have a playlist for you and all of the information down below. So definitely check out Sunbur Hair if you're interested and I will talk to you soon. Bye.